Hi everyone, Dr. Michelle here. And I wanted to first say thank you to all the veterans. Uh, it's a belated thank you the day after, but I hope that everybody had a joyful, relaxing Veterans Day. And I wanna give my thanks to all the veterans that have sacrificed their lives, all those that survived the current military and all the first responders out there that protect us every day and keep our nation safe. So I just wanna give a big thank you from Dr. Michelle. And I'm gonna be sharing at the end of this video uh, my thanks and a little gift that I'm gonna be offering to all the military and the first responders and veterans. So stay tuned. Uh, remember to hit the subscribe button and you'll be uh, updated on my videos. Also, if you hit the bell twice, my videos that I'm putting out weekly, you'll be uh, updated on when those are coming out. And I like to focus on a lot of just education in the integrative medicine world, since that's what I practice. And then also provide um, some fun videos and other helpful tips. So today I'm doing five self-care tips for veterans. And then this can also be for their families and everybody else out there. But um, my vision is five self-care tips for veterans. Number one is ignore in uh, all internal negative dialogue. Tune in to what's coming in and recognize our thoughts and our feelings and the internal dialogue that's coming in to our brains. We are not our thoughts and feelings. I learned this long ago when I was doing self-development. And once we recognize this, we can... Um, be self-aware of what's coming in and then replace that with a positive thought, feeling, memory, um, as opposed to focusing on past negative uh, feelings and thoughts that don't serve us. So that's number one is starting out by being self-aware and ignoring the internal dialogue. Now we are human, so it is going to show up but if we can train ourselves, just like training at the gym, but training our minds that we are not our thoughts and feelings and we will not be stopped by those negative thoughts and feelings. And we can replace those by um, well, what I like to do is sometimes I'll just ignore mine and I'll just keep moving and I'll go out the door. Um, a lot of times I like to replace it, like I said, with a positive memory, a positive thought, something I really enjoy. So the good stuff. Number two is moving our body. So segueing into the first one, moving our body. This can be even in a chair. So if um, we're not able to stand up and move that way, there's many things that I do for like senior belly dance and yoga uh, classes. There's a lot of great movement we can do. And I'll put some videos up soon with some things that we can do just seated in a chair. So moving our body, move your body. That will help alter also the mental emotional state when we move. Now, if it's possible, uh, get outside and do your movement. Uh, I read something somewhere a long time ago that getting outside, uh, the happier people are the ones that exercise outdoors. So move your body and if possible, move outdoors. And then number three is, what is number three? I have to look at my little cheat sheet here. Uh, oh, choose your food and your drinks wisely. Um, what we what you put in your body um, is very important. So choose it wisely. And then once you do choose it, recognize how your body reacts. Does it feel really good and nourished afterwards? Warm and cozy? Do your joints get inflamed? Do you get like I get food allergies? Do, does, do you get phlegm in your throat? Those could all be signs of allergies. And I didn't recognize that until I started doing food elimination and changing up my diet and um, what I drink too. So 
Number three is choose your food and your drinks wisely. Lots of ice, just a side note on that, a lot of ice in Chinese medicine food theory is not good for the digestive tract. Warm and nourishing it likes. So warm herbal teas, room temperature water, that type of thing is going to be more nourishing than your ice cold stuff. So I like to have both because I enjoy my iced coffee <laughs> and I also enjoy my smoothies. So I try to balance out with warm herbal teas. So I'm getting a balance there. Okay, number four is breathing. And I do a lot of this when I'm teaching my yoga classes. <laughs> I try to also do it day to day. Breathing for the veterans to help release anxiety and stress. Big belly breath, so a big inhale in the nostrils. You can even hold your breath for a few minutes and then a very slow exhale, longer exhale coming out. So bringing, filling up the belly, going in and exhale. And your exhale can be out through the nose or out through the mouth, whatever you enjoy doing. And then you can envision if you are having those negative thoughts coming in, Breathing in the positive and then exhaling out the negative. So um, that's going to help also our mental mind, oxygen through the body and help alter our consciousness for the better. <laughs> Number five is staying social. This is what I have to remind myself. So um, I know that veterans can go through a lot of physical and mental trauma and the military so um, that can affect us in um, maybe getting depressed feeling stressed feeling anxious sometimes it is good to go within but if you recognize that you're self-isolating and um, it's not bringing you up then try to add in at least one social activity a week and it might just be you getting out and going for your own walk or your own hike, um, sitting outdoors uh, amongst people, go to the beach, go to your favorite spot. So um, but being social uh, in the way also getting together with friends and family can be very beneficial for our mental mind and our health. So um, that's something I have to remind myself. So I just want you to know that um, I'm here for you. I'm here to support you. And then the little uh, surprise that I was going to give you at the end was that um, I'm offering all veterans, military, and first responders a $15 discount on all my medical services that can also include telemedicine appointments and then also on all my medical products which uh, are on my oil website and in my store at www.designtoheal.biz my herbal medicines that I prescribe 10% off so please reach out to me if you'd like to order something or schedule a service, and I'll make sure that you get that discount applied. All you have to do is, um, you know, let me know uh, what your uh, services that you, have, <laughs> what military service you've served in, and uh, if you're active military, et cetera, you can share that as well. So there's so much that we can do to support veterans and first responders in uh, Eastern medicine and the other modalities that I utilize can really help support the trauma, the mental and physical trauma that uh, you all can experience in all that you do out there for us to serve and protect us. So thank you again. I really want to give my thanks. I'm always praying for the first responders and the military and the veterans. So I'm here for you, Dr. Michelle. Reach out and uh, God bless America. Happy Veterans Day and wishing you all 
the beautiful things in life. Okay, bye-bye. See ya.